First, most immediately they center the disc. You see a little bit of sagging. They try to spread it wide. Here's a gainer, but a quick reset to Duque. All have done training in all sorts of conditions. Um, high altitude, Colombia. Yeah, the 36 year old coming out of Bogota. Cardenas makes sure it goes to the ground. Another throw, Cardenas makes sure it goes to the ground. Another chance for Colombia for a break, and Duquet takes a timeout knowing that this could be the breaking point for his team. For Duque goes through the or returns the disc to him. Uh, battle with Yashida getting very Cardenas working with Duque in the handling space. Out of the magician's hat for the second half in terms of defense. Now continues to Duque. Cardenas. A lot of passes out of the Colombians. A bit put by the Japanese. Poach defense is there. Who's going to read it better? And it's the Colombians who get a hand on it. No calls there, despite the contact. It was a high disc. Several players went up. A pick sends the disc back to where it started. Duque puts up a big one by his, oh, on his own. As Mosquera. But it also lands out of bounds, which will give the Colombians the advantage of walking it to the brick mark. Duque. The disc goes as long as it, keep, as it keeps moving. Duque. Now they go through the bricks, but here's Cardenas, who takes a timeout for Colombia, feeling that, sensing that a little bit of a cleaning up might be needed. Yeah, Japan working so hard to get the disc back and then turning it over on the first pass twice in a row at this point. They can't be doing that. Again, great defense by Tommy to get it back. But this Japanese D-line offense really needs to get it together. They won't get much opportunities from Colombia. Well, it's looking like Japan still are able to keep their spirits high. It does help to know that you're able to force turnovers out of your opponent. There's the great interception. That was Okumura. Conservation of greatness, unfortunately, on that follow-up throw. But like I said, I think knowing that you are able to get the breaks is a good thing to be, to have with you, to know, to have that knowledge. And then you just really need to put a little more focus in once once you get that turn. The Japanese team, the latest to arrive in the country, only arriving on Saturday. And you're wondering, is it taking them a little more time to adjust the heat to the weather? Lots of teams like Germany have been in here a couple of weeks. And I think that really stood to them in their opening game. Cardenas brings the disc into play for Colombia. Huge, snappy swing into the middle. They continue down the far sideline. Great leading pass. Duque puts up forehand, but intercepted here. Huge, snappy swing into the great leading pass. Duque puts up. Asada with a leading pass. Duque with an interception. He gets underneath. Oh. Can they get? Will also battle for the two top seeds. Duque. Japanese working so hard, but the Colombians staying tight. Had an offense. You can see the Japanese like to sag in the lanes and the handlers, but Colombia very happy to filter through. Everyone happy to handle. Everyone happy to cut. They can. I don't know if that was who the intended receiver was there, but nonetheless, Colombia with a third chance to bring this game home. Duque now on the sideline, examining the downfield. They spread it a little wider. Cheeky scooper. Raising their hand in preparation. Here comes the first. Oh, the defense here, not allowing the Colombian D-line to get much yards. He execution error. That was an unusual pass. Not sure if he knew what was going on there. That was Duque still rails it in. For half time, put on a strong line. A numerous amount of times. 
Okay. Going to be a hotly contested bus there. Almost gets a touch to it. But is Duque packed outside ends are looking for the performance. Do believe that there is hard work behind that. The full width of the field here. And France doing well to slow him down a little bit. Fucking flick across Duque. Oh, and a nice. It's Cartagena with a big arcing flick across Duque. Oh, and a nice slice of the time also by Torres. So you do see Torres, why stuff? Is she going to take the inside channel? She does, Torres punches it in for the goal. Australians, but I think that is kind of what they're used to and there could be something. The Aussies were able to convert off of that rather bizarre error. I don't think the Colombians are going to give them another gift like that. Reese is picking up again. Just nice and easy. So across to Duque, one on one, isolation in the end. Absolutely, so it's an all star lineup trying to get the block. A lovely find in Duque and a lovely shot to connect with him. The team a chance to score and being broken, that's inside the end zone. Right now, that's exactly what the USA have done. So they are one. Big grab. Keeps moving it through Ferrero and on Ferrero. Duque. It's the disc across. Big game. Pressure. Off. Part of the 2017 World Games squad now on the pressure. The de team that starts on defense shall win. Short jabbing passes down the far side. And another one. Going to between the players. More sort of traditional North American style ultimate. Jim bringing them all down. That's how Colombia are going to have to play. They're going to... ...with confidence every single season. To show us... Their offensive line can be just as good, but it's going to be an overthrow. Can he redeem it? He can't. Hits him straight in the hand. Blink grab on the far side. The Germans now hot light from their offense last time, but at the moment, they just need to get a hold. Team but couldn't do it yesterday. Have to bounce back. Swarming the disc for the Germans. A zone set, a zone set by the looks of things. Or is it doing so fast as a unit? up another huge blade and finding that left corner again to get on offense their first offensive point in the first half pockets put on a power line you can move this death door should I think at the moment we can say the door is fairly well closed but is it too little too late